Hey guys, it's LaGranzilla, and I have here a kit I built some time ago. It's by Tease Facto, and it's uh, the Final Wars Godzilla vs. Zilla, which is a great kit. Um, I made a just a simple base for it. I used some uh, vinyl tile and foam, and I made this uh, as just a simple stand for Godzilla to stand on. This is the Final Wars Godzilla, which is... Um, the 2004 or 5, I guess 2005 ac more accurately, Godzilla, which uh, was a very crazy manic movie. And it had a representation of the American Godzilla, which they called Zilla, as you may remember, that had uh, Matthew Broderick in that movie. And I agree with a lot of people that say this isn't Godzilla. He certainly wasn't the force of nature. He laid eggs. She, I guess, laid eggs. Um, and had a brood of uh, raptor-looking mini-Godzillas, which he looked like an iguana. But I still liked it as a, a kaiju movie, as a movie of that genre. I just would agree that, nah, this isn't Godzilla because he would run away from helicopters instead of being the force of nature. So, no argument there. Uh, but this is the only built uh, Zilla kit I've done. I do have an unbuilt kit that is really pretty long, like almost 30 inches long, I believe, uh, called an Atomic Fire Monster that I had put up for sale. This I had just put up for sale, and the next day I had somebody uh, commit to buy it. So I was looking through photos of it, and I looked in my YouTube videos, and I saw that I'd never made a video of this, which is crazy, right? I should definitely make a video of this before I lose it forever. So this is kind of going to be kind of a farewell video of this kit, which is an expensive kit, and it's uh, really cool looking. And um, like uh, all of T's Facto's kits, is really well made. Uh, great design. This thing is balanced so perfectly. And I used a good solid, really, really solid steel pin to hold Zilla on there and so it's just a uh, gravity and the pin no glue between them so it makes it easy to ship hopefully so I'm gonna get ready to pack this up when I'm done with the video and uh, back up a little bit to see if we can get the whole thing in there in my uh, little um, sheet that I use it's actually too tall to keep it all in frame but um, let's just look at Look at it a little closer. I like, uh, you know, the, the orange little spikes on his neck. And I made the eyes kind of like in the Godzilla movie um, from 98. Red and yellow. And, of course, the Godzilla Final Wars has red eyes, kind of brownish red eyes. But, yeah, it's a nice looking kit. And I really didn't have any good photos of it um, from before. I, I had it on the same table, but without any background, black background or anything. So I'm going to do a little photo shoot uh, just to commemorate this kit before I send it away forever. I hope the client that got it is very happy with it. I'm glad he got it because I've done business with him before. He's a great guy. And I, I'm glad to see when my kits... Uh, go to a good home so appreciate you guys thank you for supporting me in my uh, recent more recent uh, um, attempt to sell a lot of my kits to make more room and also to support my um, to help out my uh, income because uh, I don't have a whole lot um, going right now uh, other than my art so appreciate everybody who supports me in that way all right uh, thanks, and uh, if you are interested in any of the other kits that I have for sale, um, I'm pretty much mostly on Facebook is where I'm I'm showing that kind of stuff, and so be sure and look at my stuff for sale album on Facebook, and you can contact me there. And so um, have a great day, and uh, see you next time. Bye.